Welcome everyone to my review of the McFarlane Toys Batman from the 60s show, the classic TV series. And this of course is based on the Adam West version. This is a re-release of the previous version as McFarlane Toys decided to continue with the 60s line and they've given us some new characters but for this particular Batman of course they've decided to reissue it and it's exciting for me since I did miss out on the previous version and I didn't get the NECA one either so this is actually my first Adam West Batman and I know that they made many versions before whether he had the water gear, the arm mask look, the moustache version I did manage to get the 66 Superman as well, so stay tuned to my channel for that. But before we begin, just show you the packaging on the back. So here is the Batman figure out of its packaging, and my first impressions, I would say it's a good representation of the Batman we see in the classic TV series. I think it's a good representation of the Adam West version. So I believe it's the exact same version as the previous release. Uh, very simple kind of sculpt. But I think it does work considering this is based on a 60s show and I did watch some of the episodes a long time ago and I did enjoy them so I feel that this Batman is still considered a classic and it does resemble the comics version especially the colors uh, with the blues the grays and the yellows and looking at the face sculpts I think it does look like him so I think McFarlane have done a pretty decent job in terms of what they have given us and I have to consider the price point as well. It's a lot cheaper than your standard McFarlane. And the size is smaller uh, compared to some of their releases, uh, which is okay for me because I think it does fit into most of my collection. Uh, they don't need to be that tall. So I do like the size of this figure. And everything else, I guess you're kind of familiar with. Yeah, it does a soft cape. And the paint, maybe apart from the middle area, as you can see, there's still blue parts in between the body and the belt. Uh, they could have done that slightly better, but everything else, I think it works. So now let's test out the articulation, and I don't expect too much considering the price point, and it's meant to be like a vintage type figure. So it's going to be very limited, but I'm sure there is some sort of movement. So for the head sculpt first, it can actually rotate left and right, and it should be able to rotate all the way around if you want. It is a bit stiff out of the box and then it can move side to side slightly but there's no downwards or upwards motion and then for the arms of course both sides should be the same so it can go side to side and then it rotates forwards and backwards and you can move it upwards as well and then you can move it this way and then there's also some sort of rotation on the arm as well as the bend and then for the hands there's also rotation so it's actually good movement there and then for the body very simple just a rotation left and right and then there's no movement on the belt for the legs it kicks forwards as well as backwards uh, there's no side to side movement but there is a knee bend and there's no movement on the boots. So it's a very simple articulation, but I guess it kind of works for me. I just was glad that this is in my collection and I'm just gonna pretty much keep it the way it looks now. For the accessories, of course, it's the same ones as we've seen previously. So you get these two fighting effects. So if you've seen the series when Batman pulls a punch, it kind of creates this sound and this graphic comes up to kind of resemble what we see in the comics, which is actually quite clever. So they've included it again. And what you do is just attach it to the arm and you can use one or the other or both. And once you get it in the right pose, I think it's actually a pretty cool look. So some people would probably prefer more accessories like an arm mask head sculpt, but I guess that's just something that McFarlane do. And that is to release another version of it. So now for some size comparisons, and I'm gonna start off with the McFarlane toys as we have a tactical suit Batman and the black suit Superman from Zack Snyder's Justice League and as you can see they do tower over this version and then we can also take a look at it next to the Tamarashi Nations SH figure arts as we have more Justice League figures of Batman and Superman and I think these scale a bit better and then finally we can bring in the Medicar Mafex which also kind of works I guess 
as we have a Justice League Bruce Wayne as well as the Justice League Black Suit Superman and again they kind of compare really well so that was just a quick look at the classic TV series Batman by McFarlane Toys and I think it's a very simple figure but it does work and it's a good representation of the 60s series character even though it does lack the articulation and there's not that many accessories I think you have to understand the price point so overall it's actually a very decent pickup and I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 and I look forward to more figures from this line. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe and of course stay tuned to the Superman review. Thanks for watching.